Welcome back. Now to the relay and uh, the finals. First of all, the ladies, 3,000 meters. The lineup here, Republic of Korea, China, Japan, and Canada. Here, confirmation of the start list. Is the final race for the ladies. And uh, safely away. So Canada in front, China second, Korea in third, and Japan at the back of the moment. Canada still out in front. Canada make a change. Isabel Charest it is that takes up the running for Canada. China in second, Korea third. Japan at the back. A change there from uh, the Chinese as uh, Dong Sang Sang takes up the running for them and uh, nips in front. It's now China first, Canada second, Korea third. Japan down in fourth place. Christine Boudre it is for Canada. She hands over there for China. Yan Mei Tsang handing over to uh, Chun Lu Wang. So China out in front now. Uh, Korea into second place. That's uh, So He Kim for Korea in second, Canada down into third spot. And uh, the field opened up. A good battle between uh, China and Korea as Korea now move into the lead. IQ one for Korea, it is in front. China in second place, Canada trying to fight back and Japan out of it at the moment. Five laps to go. Republic of Korea lead, China in second place, Canada in third. And Japan trying to fight back. That's uh, Ayoko Tsubaki, the gun goes. In the next lap, they must change. So it's Sohee Kim with the responsibility of the final two laps for Korea. Korea in front, but China right behind them. Yang Yang it is for China in second place. So he Kim in the lead and losing a footing there now. Can Yang Yang fight back? Yang Yang into the lead. A little bit of pushing there and Yang Yang gets there. China make it. China win. Tremendous stuff. Republic of Korea in second place. Canada third. And uh, Japan in fourth place there. So he Kim who'd done everything right except for that final bend. Or should I say coming out of the second to last bend. There the change, Isabel Charest hands over her role. That's Hai Kyung Won for the Republic of Korea. A change from uh, both the Koreans and the Chinese team. Chunlu Wang, and there a look at Yang Yang, handing over to uh, Dong Sang Sang, as Hai Kyung Won takes over the lead for the Republic of Korea. Well, there a good view to show you how important it is for the skaters to be traveling at pretty much the same speed. So he Kim there. Losing her footing. And Yang Yang for China taking advantage of that. Nothing really so he Kim could do. Tries to push her out the way. Tremendous last lap. And their confirmation. China win. Republic of Korea second. Canada third. 
and Japan in fourth. Well, we'll take a short commercial break, but uh, we'll be right back with the final of the men's relay. Join us for that. Australia, Florida, California. Welcome back. Well, there are the world records, 7.10.95. Oh, by the uh, New Zealand team. And uh, this, the final event in this 1995 World Championships. A little bit of a joke there between the two Canadians. The lineup here in this relay. Japan, China, Italy, and Canada. There, Diego Catani for Italy. Near the start list. So 5,000 meters for the men, 45 laps. So we've already seen a few new world records throughout these championships. Who's to say there won't be another one? Diego Catani for Italy. So the skate is now called to the start line. Yeah, number 120. Yong Li for China. So they're the Canadian team. Lane one, Japan. 141, Yunyu Matsu. Uh, Bryce Holbech that uh, starts for the Canadian team. China in lane four, Italy in lane three, Canada two, and Japan in one. Hongbo Tsang for China. Maurizio Camino for Italy. And it's Japan that take the lead, Canada second, Italy third, and China in fourth place. So 45 laps. And you can bet your bottom dollar there'll be an awful lot of uh, changing of the lead in this race. Canada lead with uh, Frederick Blackburn, Italy in second, Japan in third, China in fourth at the moment. Canada holding up the pace. Japan make a change. Still Blackburn out there. Canada take a change now. And Marc Gagnon takes the lead for Canada. Italy in second, Japan in third, China in fourth. A change from China and Japan. Canada still out in front. They make a change. And that's Sylvain Gagnon for Canada out in front. Italy in second, Japan moving up. Still in third place. Gagnon. Hand over this time to... Uh, Bryce Holbech. Italy still in second place, but right up on the shoulder of the Canadians. Japan in third, and China starting to pull up. Yuzuki Imei for Japan in third place. So Canada still out in front. Italy second, Japan third. China right back into it. And a uh, little bit of a mess there from the... Uh, Chinese. So Italy now into the front. There's a Marc Gagnon regains the lead for Canada. Italy back down into second place and China up into third. Japan fighting their way back and uh, an awful lot of things can change here if uh, the changes or the handovers of the teams aren't smooth. So uh, Sylvain Gagnon for Canada out in front, handing over to Bryce Holbech. Italy still in second place, Japan in third, and China back in fourth place. Bryce with uh, Italians right up behind him, Maurizio Carnino. Third 
31 laps to go. Canada one, Japan now two, and my word, that was a dicey moment. Canada in the lead, Japan in second, Italy now down to third, and China still at the back in fourth place. 29 laps to go. Don Hang for China at the back at the moment. Canada still out in front, Japan holding on to that second spot. The Italians just biding their time in third. Canada make a change. That's uh, Bryce Holbich back again in the lead for Canada. The Italians right up in third place. Japan take a change. Yuzuki Imei for Japan in second place. Now down into third. The Italians up into second. Canada still out in front. 25 laps to go. Japan take a change. It's Frederick Blackburn for Canada in front. The Italians make a change. Diego Catini for Italy in second place. And China reeling the three in front of them in. That's uh, Satoru Narao for Japan in third place. So China in fourth, very wide round that bend. That's Sylvain Gagnon for Canada. Canada and Italy make a change. Maurizio Canino for Italy in second place. Canada in first, Japan in third. And uh, China struggling a little bit now. So Canada out in front. The Italians seem to uh, have lost the way. Four laps to go. Sylvain Gagnon out in front. Tremendous push from the Canadians. So Canada in first with uh, Bryce Holbech, Japan in second, Italy down in third, Canada pulling away with two laps to go, and the Canadian team looking very strong indeed, that's Frederick Blackburn for Canada, glances across, the world record 7.10.95, that's sure to go, 7.7.81, a new world record for the Canadian team, Inspired skating from Canada, and they look so strong at the end. Canada, the 1995 world champions. There, yeah, Maurizio Canino in the running for so much of the race, and uh, Japan that pushed the Canadian team every inch of the way. Frederick Blackburn dives to his supporters, absolutely exhausted. And there's the team. Tremendous determination from the Canadians. Total commitment on the uh, handovers. So Canada win with a time of 7.09.76. There, Bryce Holbech taking over for Canada. Italy in second place with a time of 7.11.44. Just uh, over half a second just under half a second outside the original world record time and uh, Japan finish in third spot just three tenths of a second behind the Italians and their confirmation a new world record for the Canadians Well, at last, the uh, championship has gone their way. The confirmation of the uh, final result of this uh, relay. Canada, 7.09.76 and a new world record. Tremendous stuff. Well, that brings uh, our coverage of this uh, 1995 World Short Track Speed Skating Championships to a close. And uh, what a marvellous three days it's been. As always, the speed skaters, tremendous spirit. A lot of uh, camaraderie there. Well, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed Eurosport's coverage of this World Championships as much as I have.
a shame that uh, there wasn't uh, more of an audience in the stadium, but uh, I hope you've enjoyed it back home. So from Gjorvik in Norway, all it leaves me to do is bid you farewell.